This is Welly here with my printer bot Junior. I ordered about three weeks ago and just assembled finally uh, yesterday. Uh, it took me a few days to assemble it in, in its entirety, mainly because I wanted to take my time a little bit and I had to work quite a few hours. So I decided to just do a little bit each day and uh, keep researching uh, tips and tricks on how to get a good first print. Uh, my first print was, in fact, earlier today, I printed this Triforce keychain, which came out very well, actually, uh, surprisingly. Very little tweaking required uh, to get this thing to be pretty exact. Um, it's actually on its third print now. My second print only uh, stopped midway, making the new gears for itself because of uh, a wire that came loose from the back of the, the heat bed and it caused the, uh, the breaker on the power supply to trip. Or at least it's good that it can save itself from destruction. <laughs> but uh, now it's on that same job again, printing new gears for itself. Uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. Uh, these, these gears are pretty detailed. I'm very surprised and it's very sturdy. I tried to bend it earlier and it doesn't seem to like to flex at all. I imagine if I did break it, it'd be pretty brittle, It'd probably shatter. But um, it definitely is tough, tough enough for this job. I was surprised to see. I also ordered and got today some black ABS plastic, Lego plastic, and I also got a sample of the wood filament, which I'm going to probably try later on today, as long as I make sure everything else is good with this print. But uh, so far I'm very pleased. Uh, it was a bit of a pain to try and assemble it. Uh, the instructions were a little bit vague. A lot of it seemed to be uh, more go by the picture than by the actual written instruction. And then the picture would be kind of at a bad angle. But all in all, I seem to figure it out fairly easily. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory in some cases. Um, if you've worked with Legos before, if you've worked with any sort of you know kit assembly, um, whether it be a hobby or putting together a piece of furniture even. It's definitely simple enough for that. Uh, the electronics video was actually, I was pleased to see, um, they don't have a dedicated PrinterBot Junior video, but they had a video for, I believe it was the Plus, the PrinterBot Plus. And I just watched the video on how to assemble the electronics. Very quick and easy. Um, but it does give you a little bit of a uh, warning that you cannot put the motors in the wrong ports, otherwise you will damage your machine. So I wanted to be very, very careful about how I went about finalizing all the wiring. Um, so at the moment, it seems to be cruising along just fine. Uh, I did order the heat bed upgrade, uh, which is definitely well worth it. This, this print uh, popped right off after I... Uh, let the bed cool down for a minute, um, but it, it's very smooth, very nice. It didn't take any strength at all, it just popped off with my hand. Um, but it was uh, very easy as well to assemble together uh, to add on to the printer, even though I didn't have the printer up and running before I did the heat bed install. Um, all in all, I'm very happy with it, and I uh, intend to make a lot of really awesome things until I decide to get a larger printer and do some more stuff with it. That's all I have for now. Take it easy.